Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So in the last episode, we have learned how to create the authentication or the auth system in Laravel by using the PHP artisan auth command. Okay. So in this episode, we are going to see all the views created by the Laravel so that we will get the better understanding of the each and every view so that in the future, obviously we are going to change everything. We are going to manipulate everything. So we will already familiar with the views. So let's see the first view I'm going to talk about is the login view. Okay, so let's see where the login view is. So login view obviously is inside the resources folder, views folder and inside the auth folder created by our PHP artisan auth command. And you can see there is login.blade.php and here you can see it extends app.blade.php. So let's first understand the app dot blade dot php and it is inside obviously inside layout and you can see app dot blade dot php now you have many things here but you can see the name of the app is obviously getting by the config method and obviously by using this method you can get the name of the app which is given inside this config app file so here name is Laravel. If I say Bitfumes and save it and let's refresh it. Now you can see here it is Bitfumes. So you can see by changing something inside our config app file, we are going to create changes in the app.blade.php. Okay. So the next thing is obviously the login and register buttons this is the login and register links so now it says that if the auth guest that means if you are a guest and you are not logged in then you will see these two links and when you are logged in with any of the user okay then you will get to see all these things so let's see how these things look like Obviously, we know we have registered with our bitfumes at gmail.com. Now we are logged in. So this thing is came from this HTML part. Now you can see here we are getting the name of the user. We can see here the Sarthak name is written. If you want to get the email, you can simply say email. Now when I refresh, you will see the email is here. So the next thing is you can see here it is logout. So when you hit that logout, obviously that is a link, but that link is referred to this form. Actually, what happens is that the logout is a post request. So I will go to my command prompt and I will type PHP artisan route list. And now you can see here the logout is a post request and we know that for a post request we need a form so by clicking this link we are going to submit this form by this javascript statement okay so we are going to submit this form and this form will log out us okay so this is the app.blade.php okay now when we go to the login.blade.php, we can see many things new here. The first thing I'm going to show you is this error. Let's try something. Let's go to Chrome, log out here. Now, when I go to login and try to log in with some wrong credentials, that means I have typed password something else. Now, when I hit enter, Obviously, it gives me error and that error you can see is red. Okay. So, where this red came from? This came from this error statement. 
Now you can see if there is an error then it says if it is true then just echo this has error that means it's a just a class which just make all the things reddish okay so let's make some changes and let's see what happen if i directly given this inside my div now when i go and refresh you can see i have refreshed but it already has red that means has error this is a class which makes everything looks red that means having an error so this is obviously here and here also and we have seen that if we type different password then we will get this message and this message is came from this statement which says if error has then you have to echo this okay and this obviously has the error okay now the next thing is you can see here it is old email is given that means old function is just a helper which is used to get the old field which we have given whenever there is an error so this is an error obviously this page has been refreshed but we already get the email and this is because of this old that means if there is a old string inside any input then just echo this in a next request also so now the next view is the register view obviously we have the register view from which we can register and obviously as i have promised you i will going to make some changes in this registration form and we will going to add a field called last name so obviously for that we have to have some knowledge of this view also and this view also has error statement and it has the views all which i have explained you in the login.blade.php let's go to other view which is forgot password view you can see here is email address when you give the email address here and you going to press this button which says send password reset link then it will go and collect the information of you and just make a token for you and it will send you an email but here is a error because i have not configured dot env file so let's quickly configure that file okay so i will type here smtp.gmail.com and by the way if you don't know how to configure this file for email just see the email part of the laravel 5.4 series i think it is 24 25th episode so you can watch there so i will type bitfumes at gmail.com try to resend the password so i will type bitfumes at gmail.com try to send the email and again it will give me error because i have not restarted my server so let's restart my server okay now it's good try to resend again and yep you can see there is a message which says that we have emailed your password reset link and where this email password link message is came from for that let's go to the view of send password that means email.blade.php so you can see here there is a field where is that field mm, yeah this is the statement which give you this success error a uh, success message okay so when there is a status session available then we are going to show this alert message so this is the alert message obviously and rest is we know we have already seen everything so let's see and go to the gmail obviously we are expecting a email from bitfumes on bitfumes and this is the email when you click on this reset password it will open up on the link of other tab and now you have to just retype your email new password let's say one two three four five only and reset password and yep we are logged in with the new password 
so we have seen how to reset the password so let's try to check the view also of this let's log out let's try to see this view so where is that view obviously reset view and you can see the token is given that means here is the token you can see this is a long token and that token is catch by this hidden input field which which getting the token in its values when you are submitting the form with email and new passwords this token will verify with your password reset field inside your server so let's see where is that field so here is my server and we will go to the auth database and password reset table and it will give you nothing because we have reset the password we have used the same thing so let's try to resend the password reset link and verify token mismatch refresh resend now we are expecting another email from bitfumes and the email has been arrived let's go here and refresh the table now you can see the token is here and what is this token this token is same as this so when you are going to submit this form this token is matched with this token if that token is verified then the password of your user will reset okay so i think this video will give you a lots of knowledge about the views this video is very important because if you have the knowledge of the views then you are going to change everything easily otherwise you will get lots of error and you will stick on many fields many steps and that's why i have decided to create this video and if you have any problem understanding anything about the views and about anything else in any of my video please feel free to comment me please follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and share this video with your developer friend so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing you know what is that level so don't forget to subscribe that is the most important thing and we will meet in the next episode where we will talk about a login controller and we will see lots of fun there and you will get the tremendous amount of knowledge from this series and i will going to create the multi auth system i am going to create the access control level system i am going to create the email verification system so don't forget to subscribe for getting the update about this level authentication series so we will meet in the next episode till then be happy and good